center part hair tips. That's what we're talking about today and I continuously get comments and people asking about center parts or middle parts or curtains but you know let's just talk about I call it the center part right or sometimes I go back and forth but it's right down the middle of your head okay and I'm gonna give you some hair tips and hopefully a better understanding of this type of hairstyle what type of hair you need you know what hairstyles work best and all that before we do get on, I do want to mention about the Update 225 spray. This is what it looks like now. We uh, decided to shrink wrap the tops, right, just for better, uh, so it obviously doesn't, the top doesn't come off. And also, <clears throat> we've made a variety of improvements and upgrades from the ingredients to the fragrance, which literally is the most sophisticated luxurious fresh scent I've ever smelled and I'm a huge fragrance fanatic if you all know by now but 25 benefits we still got the 25 benefits in here the nozzle has been fixed so when you spray it it doesn't shoot out like a laser stream it's actually gonna be like a regular mist it's a little bit of a thicker type of consistency you make sure you shake up the bottle and then spray and I'm telling you it's unbelievable but I think the first thing that you're gonna notice is the fragrance it's mind-blowing, okay? And this took so many tries and my just being a lunatic <laughs> trying to get this to be exactly where it needed to be to be the finished and final product. And this is it. We're shipping them out now. So 25 spray updates. So <clears throat> center parting hairstyles. First of all, if you are not sure about how to find your center part, where the center parting is, I mean, you could do it a few different ways. You could do it simply by, if you've got perfectly straight, fine hair like this, or medium textured hair, or density, it doesn't really matter, but usually straight hair works best for these types of styles, is you could take a brush, a vent brush like this, and just brush the hair all the way back, push forward, and the hair is gonna naturally fall where it wants to fall. If your hair does not fall in the middle, if it falls more on the side, well, guess what? That means you have a natural side parting. If you do want to have a middle part or a center part and you have a parting on either side, you have to make sure your hair is long enough. I mean, look how long this is. This hair goes all the way down to here, right? It's not, you're not going to achieve it if your hair's up to here, if you've got, you know, a buzz cut, if your hair's like, you know, right, it's not that long at all. You could start and try to train it, but literally it's the weight of the hair and the length this is all one length that's pulling the hair down this way, causing it to split and stay down the middle. If this was a lot shorter, it wouldn't part at all. You need to have this, so make sure, first things first, your hair is long enough for this. Now, you can <clears throat> wear an undercut with this. This is an undercut haircut here, actually, but you can see it's not like super, super short where it's like, you know, a skin buzz and then you know, it's actually like a light taper, so it blends very nicely, and then the hair falls over. So with center parting or middle part haircuts, you want to make sure that you have your hairstyle picked out with what you're going to wear and how you're going to wear it. These always, this is the classic kind of Leonardo DiCaprio, or, you know, a number of people have had this type of, of hairstyle, River Phoenix, over the years, and they've made it quite popular, but you see, all their hair, it's a bit longer. So if you've got straight hair, if it's fine, if it's thick, doesn't really matter, but straight hair always works best, especially if it's like silky hair, or Asian hair, or just really, really very, very silky smooth hair, then that's that. Now, if you do have a different texture, okay, if you've got a bit of a longer type of hair and a wavier sort of texture like this, right, you can wear a middle part or center part also and you can see what happens here is by having this it creates a little bit of an opening here and this haircut is on the layered side so it's not all one length but what's the reason this is able to part like this is because of it being long enough now if you do want to have movement and texture and still wear a center part on a longer hairstyle you need to have layers in your hair as you can see it's shorter in through here and all blends and is layered going back. So you want to make sure your hair is layered and then it's really up to you how you get your hair 
you know, cut, how you style it. This is actually straight hair and I was able to achieve this texture with Tidal Wave, with scrunching it, letting it air dry, using a little bit of the diffuser, but mostly just Tidal Wave, having the layers and scrunching it and you're able to achieve this look as well. As you can see, this is pretty long hair. So when the hair is longer, it's a little bit easier to style in the middle because you have all that hair. Here's a shorter version. Okay, you've seen this mannequin a million times on my channel. This is another version of having hair kind of in the center and you can see we're parting it over. You know, so certain hairstyles or certain face shapes, you know, I wouldn't suggest this for, um, you know, a round, more of a rounder face, that's fine because you're kind of closing all of this off into here, that's okay. If you're very square, like a square jaw, this could potentially make it look even more square because you're closing all this off and all you're seeing is this, okay? So I would suggest maybe having some layers to get a little more volume, right? Maybe having it cover the face a little more this way, all right? Um, you know, with face shapes, it all really depends. You're trying to do the opposite of what you have, all right? So you may want to have it, you know, some more width into here. If it's, if it's, you have a very narrow forehead or a smaller head, whatever, face shape into here, low forehead, you know, you're trying to create some volume and lift into here or you know, you're trying to camouflage the cheekbones, whatever you're trying to do, you, know, you wanna have the opposite of the face shape that you're trying to camouflage. But here's another example of a center parting, as you can see into here. Once again, the hair is long enough that it's able to split down the middle. And then lastly, now this is, this is a mannequin that basically, if you are looking to slick your hair back, but kind of have it looks like it's more towards the middle. It could look like it's part down the middle, but all you're doing is just brushing it all back and then combing it in the natural direction. So this could be combed back this way. This could be combed all back this way. And just the way that the hair is, right? The way you have it, the way the density of the hair, it looks like it's in the middle, but it's actually, there is technically no part, but it has the appearance or the illusion of it being down the middle. As you can see, there's a part right there, but when the head is forward, you don't see it. But when you tip the head down, there we go. It's kind of like an off center parting or off middle parting. So you could still slick it back and have a center part. But once again, look how long this hair is, okay? The hair is long enough. It needs to be long enough for the hair to go back and stay back. And this is styled with my newest matte pomade uh, in my crafted line, which is literally most, one of the most incredible matte pomades I've ever used. It's great for taming. It's great for hairstyles like this, like second day hair, third day hair. Looks a lot more lived in, but it's not greasy. It's not oily. Um, I wouldn't suggest this for really, really fine hair or super short hair. You want to have hair that's long enough that you need the taming for and you want it to go back and stay back. So it's a great product for this. Uh, also, what's, what's really great is right now, <clears throat> if you are on the channel, and you look at the tabs up top where it has like community videos, you can see a store tab. Now you can actually directly shop from YouTube. All right, and you, I don't know how the codes work, if it takes you off site, but you could, you could basically purchase my products right here directly on YouTube through my store. And if you use code YouTube20, you get 20% off and it's free shipping on orders over $60 in the United States after the discount code is applied. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you found this video helpful and I'll see you soon.